I'm Professor Andreas Ayla. I'm in the Department of Chemistry and I'm interested in making materials, making new compounds. But one of the key responsibilities that I feel I have to the university is to actually be involved in sustainability. Uh, my name is Cristina Azevedo. I'm a senior postdoc or investigator scientist from the Medical Research Council. One of the things is we do a lot of molecular biology and uh, we use a lot of uh, single-use plastic. Myself in particular, I work with the model organism yeast and I was using quite a lot of these falcon tubes to grow them. And, you know, I was, could go through like 50 a day. And so I searched for alternatives, a way to grow bacteria and a way to grow yeast. And I found after quite a long time, actually, these little flasks that are made of glass that can be washed and autoclaved. And so we don't have to use this anymore. There are crucial things that you can do to reduce the energy consumption of a lab. The first thing is that if you see a fume hood with the sash up, you can push it down. And many of the fume hoods here at UCL will actually slow down in response to that. Low temperature freezers are absolutely crucial to modern science labs because what they do is they, they give you the possibility of long-term storage of really precious samples. We don't often think about them and about their energy consumption. The astonishing thing is that one low temperature freezer operating at minus 80 degrees over the course of the year will use the same energy as a typical house in the UK. One of the key things that we need to think about is how crucial is it to actually maintain samples at a particular temperature. And the traditional temperature has always been minus 80. But if you were to switch this to minus 70, a lot of evidence suggests that that really won't affect the longevity of biological samples very much. But on the other hand, it halves the energy consumption. And this is a big deal. One of the things that we noticed was that the waste stream was a big problem here and people were just putting things everywhere in the beans and some of the beans were not labeled. And so we decided to make it simple. In this case, we have four waste streams and we have three questions. And then, you know, if people have these questions in mind, then it will be very easy to dispose of anything they have. One of the things that we really take for granted in labs and don't even think about are things like this, glassware drying ovens. And we aren't really aware of what an enormous amount of electricity they actually use and therefore what kinds of carbon emissions that they result in. Well, one of the things you can do is to put a little timer on the oven so that it really isn't running in the middle of the night, that it's really not running on a Sunday when there's nobody in the lab. And just by doing that, you can really reduce the energy emissions. Often sustainability is the financially sensible way to do things, that you know, if you use less, if you reuse stuff, you know, all of those things kind of contribute to saving money. Never imagine that something is too small, because something small will ultimately let you go and deal with those really big things that are hard.